Hi there, welcome to the Florinella YouTube channel. I'm Erin and I'm a clinical herbalist and aromatherapist. Today I want to share some of my favorite books about herbs with you. I recently had the opportunity to update my recommended reading lists and my updated posts are going up on the blog, so I wanted to create videos to go along with those and this week our video is about herbalism books. Um, I always have a really hard time narrowing down these lists because I love books <laughs> and choosing favorites is hard for me but I feel like I was able to create some pretty solid categories and the books that did make the list are among my absolute favorites. So the first category we're going to look at is beginner friendly books. So if you're just getting started in learning about herbalism and are curious but want reliable resources, then these are some of the books I recommend for you. The first book is called Alchemy of Herbs by Rosalie de la Forge, and I love this book because she wrote it in a way that combines both experience with herbs and science. So it's very grounded, but it's also really comprehensive. Rosalie, if you're not familiar with her work, is somebody who teaches people about how to work with the energetics of herbs. And within that perspective, she focuses on the five flavors or the five tastes of herbs that are most commonly used to categorize herbs. So things like bitter, sour, salty, sweet, etc. And she categorizes herbs into those categories in this book. And for each herb she tells you about how it's grown the different varieties that might be available and then also gives you information about what we know about how that herb can be used based on both tr historical tradition and scientific studies that are a bit more modern and then after she does that she gives you some really wonderful recipes uh, that you can use to make things with that herb so it helps you to get to know an herb on an individual basis and then actually work with it which i love this book is one that i often give away to people who are just getting started with herbs and i love it it's the fo the photography is beautiful the writing is excellent and honestly i recommend everything that rosalie puts out she also has um, other courses available on her website and through learning herbs and she also has a podcast here on youtube that's really great if you want to check that out so that's the first one i recommend another book i recommend for beginners is herbal medicine for beginners by katya swift and rin madura they're from the commonwealth center for holistic herbalism and they both teach there online and they have a clinic and they do really great work they also have a wonderful podcast they were actually guests on our podcast back when john was hosting a podcast um a couple of years ago for Florinella and Aromaculture. But this one I love because it really is so beginner friendly. They share some things about how to make different kinds of remedies and then they talk about different herbs and what they're great for and recommended doses. And then in the end, they give you a lot of really great recipes that you can use for different types of indications. So this one is also one that I recommend for beginners. Now, the next books that I recommend for beginners are all by one author. And if you've been around in the herbal community for a while, you probably can guess who I'm gonna talk about. But the author I wanna recommend is Rosemary Gladstar. And really I recommend anything she writes for beginners because she approaches herbs in such a beautiful way and she talks about them in a way that just makes her enthusiasm so contagious and very beginner friendly. Um, I love her, she's a treasure in the herbal community. And one of the books of hers that I really like like to give beginners is Rosemary Gladstar's Herbal Recipes for Vibrant Health and this just has a bunch of different recipes in it as well as some information about different health conditions that you might be formulating um, whilst considering and so that one is one that I really like. I also really love this one for beginners. It's Rosemary Gladstar's Medicinal Herbs, A Beginner's Guide. This book is beautiful. It has recipes and information about individual herbs and it's just very beginner friendly and easy to understand. So this is another one that I often give to people who are just getting started. Started. Sometimes I give this one with Alchemy of Herbs and another one, but this one I highly recommend. And then she also has other books, two of which are Herbal Healing for Women and Herbal Healing for Men. Um, my copy of Herbal Healing for Women is an older one. There's an updated edition that has a different cover, so you might want to look for that one. Um, but this one, Herbal Healing for Men, is also one that I highly recommend for beginners. And speaking of herbs for men, 
Another book that I highly recommend is The Male Herbal by James Green. This book is great. There aren't a lot of books that focus specific... There's, sorry, there's a delivery man right outside the window, which is what I keep looking at. Sorry, I got distracted there. Um, but there aren't a lot of great books on herbs specifically geared toward men and men's health. Um, but Rosemary's and this one by James Green are the two that I tend to recommend the most. This one is very uh, much in depth and comes from a variety of different perspectives that I think a lot of readers would appreciate. So that's one I recommend. Another book that I like to give to beginners is A Modern Herbal by Mrs. Grieve. This book is sometimes sold in volumes because it's actually a really big book um, and it's older and you can find some parts of it available for free online. Sometimes there are a couple of um, herbal blogs that publish online older herbal books uh, or portions of them. So you can sometimes find portions of this one online. But what I like about this one is that it's not so much like a how to get started with herbs as it is just a really interesting read if you're wanting to look up how something was historically used in the herbal tradition in different parts of the world. Um, so I like it for that reason. She has a lot of information about, you know, how Culpepper wrote about working with an herb or how other people in history worked with herbs. And then she talks about the indications that were modern in her time. And it's just a really um, interesting book that I found amusing when I was beginning. So that's one that I often recommend to for people who are interested in the history of herbs. Now, the next one I recommend for beginners is the Herbal Medicine Maker's Handbook, a home manual also by James Green. So he also wrote the male herbal book that had the green cover. This one is really interesting and great for beginners who are wanting to start making herbal remedies and recipes, and teas, and tinctures, and syrups and salves and things because he goes into a lot more depth than some of the more... Um, beginner friendly books do about making really excellent recipes and so this is one that I think is very very useful for people who are wanting to get started with formulation and then the last one I recommend I actually don't have a copy of with me at the moment but I have an older edition of it and it's called the big book of homemade products for your skin health and home by Jan Berry she runs a blog called the nerdy farm wife which is really great and I have an older edition of this book called 101 easy homemade products for skin health and home your skin health and home and I love this book the publisher is page street publishing and I love that it lays flat so <laughs> So you can formulate with it really easily and it will just lay flat because of the binding, the way they've positioned that. The photography in this book is beautiful like all of Jan's photography is and she just has some really um, unique and interesting recipes and I love her recipes. So that's another one that I recommend or the updated edition which is the expanded version. So that is the category uh, for beginners. The next category of books I want to talk about is what I have dubbed the well-researched category. So the first stack we went through was the beginner-friendly books, and those are the ones that are very readable, very experiential, and they might be grounded in science, but they're not focusing heavily on it. And this next category does focus heavily on it. So all of these books are ones that I would recommend for people who either are wanting to train to become clinical herbalists or practicing herbalists, community herbalists, etc., or people who are just wanting to make sure that what they're learning and studying about herbs is very grounded in scientific research. So the first one that I recommend is Clinical Botanical Medicine by Eric Yarnell and Kathy Abaskal and Robert Roundtree. This book is great if you want to look up an herb and see what some of the scientific research on it has found. So that can inform your practice. And then the next one it's not so much focused on scientific studies, but it is very well researched. So I included it in this category and it's called The Business of Botanicals by Anne Armbrecht. This one is really interesting. I loved this book because Anne takes you with her on this journey to different parts of the world into the behind the scenes um, 
elements of what goes on in the herbal industry and what you should be thinking about if you're wanting to practice sustainably and make sure that you're sourcing high quality herbs for your practice. So it's, it's a very interesting read and I really liked it. It's one that I highly recommend. The next book is very much geared toward clinicians, but it is the American Herbal Products Association's Botanical Safety Handbook. This is the second edition, and this is by far the best resource I know of for checking for herb drug or herb herb interactions um, or safety considerations. So if you are planning on practicing or blending for anyone else or blending for somebody who's taking medications, etc., even if that's just for yourself, I would highly recommend this book. It's pricey, but it's very worth it if you're going to be formulating for other people. And then another book in this category is Principles and Practice of Phytotherapy by Carrie Bone and Simon Mills. This is another textbook um, that focuses very much on scientific research and studies. So if you want to look up a an herb in this book, you'll find a lot of information about what the clinical trials and other research has found on specific herbs. So that can inform your formulating. And then the next one is Botanical Medicine for Women's Health by Dr. Aviva Ram. I tend to love everything she puts out. She's a great writer. She has um, online courses and a podcast and a blog with a lot of information on it. She has a lot of different books. This one is a textbook that she's written and she uses it in one of her training programs, um, but it's also just a great resource. So if you're working with women in particular, I highly recommend this one. It's very grounded in science. And then lastly in this category. I recommend A Clinical Guide to Blending Liquid Herbs by Carrie Bone, and this one is also very science-focused. Um, the different herbal pro profiles talk about potential indications based on the scientific research that we have available, as well as contraindications, whether the herb is safe for use in pregnancy, um, and how it's been traditionally used and used pharmacologically as well. So this is another one that I highly recommend if you are leaning toward becoming a practicing clinician. The next category of books that I want to talk about overlaps a little bit with that last one in that these books are the ones written by experienced practitioners and a lot of those books um, that we've covered already are also experienced practitioners. So there is some overlap but um, what I like to tell people is that if you really want to start studying herbs, look for the books that are written by people who've been practicing herbalists for a while and who are also quite aware of the scientific research um, that has been done, is being done on herbs because they're just going to be a lot more informative than some of the books are that are written by researchers who maybe don't actually work with herbs themselves. So these are some of the ones that I recommend in this category, the category of books written by experienced practitioners. The first is a series of books. These are by Dr. Jill Stansbury, who is an ND, and they all have green spines, slightly different shades of green, but they're called the Herbal Formularies for Health Professionals, and there are different volumes. I think the fifth volume is out now. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, um, but there are different volumes. So the volume four is neurology, psychiatry, and pain management. Volume three was endocrinology. Volume two, circulation and respiration. And volume one, digestion and elimination. These are all really good books. Um, she talks about different indications for herbs and what she tends to turn toward in her own practice. So I really like these. And those are all published by Chelsea Green. And then the next herbalist whose books I really like is Matthew Wood. And some of the ones that I recommend for people who are wanting to dive a bit deeper into herbs and learn about how to work with them clinically are the Herb Earthwise Herbal Repertory and the Earthwise Herbal. And I think this one actually is available in a couple of different volumes. So the Herbal Repertory is one where you can look up different conditions and energetic um, patterns and such, and then see which herbs he tends to recommend for people who are presenting with those types of situations. And then the herbal side is one where he, he lists 
individual herbs and then talks about the indications and precautions for those and such so those go really well together and i do recommend those matthew wood is also a treasured herbalist in the community and then one that i highly recommend is adaptogens by david winston with stephen mames this is the updated edition there's also an older one um, adaptogens are a category of herbs that are often misunderstood in the herbal community. And I often hear people um, appropriating the name of adaptogen and applying it to herbs that aren't actually adaptogens or that we don't know are adaptogens yet. And um, David talks about that in this book as well as a lot of other great information about adaptogens. He has individual plant profiles in here. And this is an, another very science grounded um, book that I highly recommend. I love this one. Next, I have Self-Sufficient Herbalism, A Guide to Growing, Gathering, and Processing Herbs for Medicinal Use by Lucy Jones. I first learned about Lucy Jones and her work through Instagram when I was active on social media. I haven't been very much lately, um, but she is an herbalist over in the UK and she wrote this book. It was published not that long ago. Let's see, 2020. So during the pandemic, I would guess, or maybe right before it. Um, but this is just a beautiful book. Lucy is an herbalist who grows um, I think most, if not all, of the herbs she is working with in her apothecary. She's a medical herbalist. And so she's able, and then she also processes them to make her own tinctures and capsules and teas and things. So she um, is able to write both from the perspective of a medical herbalist and a remedy maker and a gardener. And um, her work is just really beautiful. And this is a really fantastic book. I love recommending this one because I also love to grow a lot of my own herbs and I teach people to grow herbs in our classes at Florinella. So this is one that I highly recommend. The next is Body into Balance by Maria Noel Groves. She also teaches through Wintergreen Botanicals Herbal Clinic and Educational Center. And this book is another one that's just very beautiful. The photography in this book is so lovely. I just, the spreads are so pretty. She talks about a lot of different herbs in this one, provides a lot of great recipes, and it's one that I think is very beginner-friendly, but also great for people who are wanting to dive a little bit deeper. And then the last book in this category is Medical Herbalism by David Hoffman. This is one of the books that I bought years ago when I wanted to um, start my clinical training. and. It's one that I just really appreciate. His perspective is a very balanced one. And I like that in this book, you can look up different conditions and see what kind of therapeutic effects you wanna look for, what kind of herbs might be effective based on traditional use or um, modern research. And then there's also a section with herbal monographs included. So it's a very good book. It's not, I mean, it's a large in that it's not, you know, this big. Um, but it's not uh, as intimidating as some of the more textbook type books are. It's one that is easier to read, so I often recommend this one. The next category of books that I want to recommend are the ones that get you into the garden. So at Florinella, one of the approaches I take to teaching is connecting with the plants themselves rather than just an herb you bought online or a little bottle of essential oil that you bought, you know, from your local co-op or website or a friend or something. Because um, I think that sustainable practice involves growing herbs or at least being aware of and connecting with those herbs as they're growing in nature um, rather than just as a processed product. So one of the things that I wanted to be sure to include in this list was a category of books about gardening and growing herbs. So the first one I want to recommend is Growing Plant Medicine by Rich Ocheck. He owns Strictly Medicinal Seeds, which was formerly Horizon Herbs. But everything he writes, I love. His books are all excellent. He writes in such a friendly and endearing um, voice. And he also brings a wealth of knowledge to everything he writes. And his books have these really cute illustrations done by his daughter. 
so I highly recommend this one. This is a newer volume that um, has some pre-published material in it as well as some new in it. So I really recommend this one. And then another one that I really like to recommend is Grow Your Own Herbal Remedies, again by Maria Noel Groves. And she also wrote the Body into Balance book that I mentioned earlier. This one is really pretty and it's categorized by um, different therapeutic effects or categories of herbs. And it has a lot of um, information about how to grow individual herbs and then how to work with them and formulate with them in the apothecary. And she does have some monographs at the end that talk about um, how the herb can be used, the flavors, it contributes to recipes and things like that. So this is a really excellent, beautiful book. And then the next books are just about gardening in general. So if you want to start growing herbs, but you're not quite sure where to start because you don't actually garden much to begin with, these are books that I think can really help you get started. The first one is called The First Time Gardener, Growing Vegetables by Jessica Sowards. This is a really beautiful book by Jessica Sowards. She has a YouTube channel called Roots and Refuge Farm um, that's really grown since the beginning of the pandemic. And um, it's been really neat to watch their family move from Arkansas to South Carolina and build their farm. Uh, but she teaches people how to grow food. And so this is her first book. She has two now. And this one talks about growing vegetables, but it also talks about getting your garden set up for success and caring for your soil and the kinds of things that you want to think about if you want your garden to be a healthy and diverse place. So I like this one and I do recommend this for beginning gardeners, even if you're not focused on growing food and you want to grow herbs because it'll help you kind of understand how to set your garden up and how to care for your soil and how to care for plants. And then the next one that I often recommend to new gardeners and experienced gardeners um, is What's Wrong With My Plant and How Do I Fix It? I love this book. It's by David Deerdorf and Katherine Wadsworth. And I use this all the time when I'm having issues <laughs> in my garden. And I love it because it has a lot of um, illustrations and it has you walk through these steps like okay I have this type of plant and the problem is in the leaves so it'll take you through this questionnaire does it have this problem or does this problem and if it has this one go down and if it has this one then go over and um, so you just kind of follow and eliminate uh, different things that could be causing the issues that you're experiencing and then it tells you what to do to fix it and it includes a lot of natural approaches to fixing problems which I appreciate because uh, I tend to garden organically and in that same vein the other book I recommend is the organic gardener's handbook of natural pest and disease control and this one is a Rodale uh, a Rodale book this one is similar to the other one in that I use it for troubleshooting and problem solving um, but it has a little bit of a different approach and it also focuses solely on organic management of pest and disease in the garden. So highly recommend that one. And then the last two books are ones that are in a category that I'm calling the amusing ones. And these aren't necessarily ones that I would call must reads for every practitioner or person who's getting involved in herbs, but they're very amusing reads. And if you like herbs and you like to read about herbs, I think you'll find them fascinating. So the first is Hildegard von Bingen's Physica. This is a translation, obviously. Um, and she lived in the medieval period and wrote a lot about herbs. And some of the things she wrote are very amusing. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend her books as ones to um, read and then implement all of her advice because some of the advice is quite dated, some of it is kind of dangerous, um, but it is an amusing read and I enjoyed it. So I like that one. And then the other one I recommend is Of People and Plants by Maurice Mezeguet who is a French herbalist. And this book is really interesting because he focused on a very um, interesting approach to herbalism in that he focused on working with his clients via hand and foot baths, which um, is not an approach that is as common today. And it's definitely not one that we would say is very um, scientific or anything, or even perhaps the most effective. 
but he has some really interesting stories about his clients in this book, and um, I found myself laughing and being very amused and reading parts aloud to John, my husband, when I was reading this book. So it's one that I recommend just as a very enjoyable um, and interesting read. So those are the books that I have right now on my recommended reading list for people who are interested in herbs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to um, see the written version of this video with the written list, it's on my blog at florinella.com books, and that's available now. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!